Hello everyone and welcome back to another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. In today's video, I'm sharing with you seven DIY Dollar Tree French farmhouse decor crafts. So I love to share with you guys how you can make your home's boutique gorgeous on a teeny tiny budget. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and punch that bell. It will update you every time I post a new video, but let's go ahead and plug in those glue guns, get out your glitter and paint, and let's get to crafting. For the first DIY, I want to share with you all how to make some homemade chalk paint. So I'm taking one cup of regular latex paint. This is just white paint and then half a cup of baking soda. And I'm going to mix those together. You want to give it a really good mixy mix. And fair warning, this chalk paint will be a little bit grainy. The next thing I want to do is take one of these Dollar Tree galvanized tins. And I'm just going to begin to chalk paint the outside of the tin. Now I do love using chalk paint because it dries rather quickly and it does adhere to most surfaces rather easily. The next thing I'm going to do is let that dry and then I'm going to give it a whole nother coat of chalk paint and then you're going to let that dry. And I'm going to share with you guys this really cool um, rustic aging effect. I actually saw it on Our Green Acres. It's another YouTuber that does some amazing DIYs. Um, and so I just want to take this graphic from graphicsfairy.com and I'm going to adhere the graphic to the outside of my little tin. And for these DIYs, I'm going for a French country look. So I went to graphicsfairy.com and I just typed in French country and they have a lot of free um, printables that you all can download to your computer and then just print off of your computer and this is just on regular old um, printer paper so I'm adhering this now to the outside of my little galvanized tin and then I'm taking actually an old makeup brush and I just dipped it in some gold paint and I'm going to kind of begin to give it like a layered rustic effect so I'm adding in the gold paint and then the brown paint and that's going to give it some layers and make it look a little bit older but we're going to take it one step further with this really cool way to make something look rustic you're going to take your Mod Podge and you're going to Mod Podge the outside of whatever you have painted and then you're going to take some cinnamon and you're going to dust cinnamon on top of the Mod Podge but first you want to lay down a really nice layer of Mod Podge and that's going to give something for your cinnamon to attach to. Now the cinnamon is so cool. I love this technique and so you're just going to layer that on top of whatever it is you're trying to make look old and then give it a dusting. You'll let that dry and then you'll go over that with another layer of Mod Podge and this is going to make this really cool vintage aged look and I kind of dusted over the whole thing. Now when it came to the graphic I did wipe a little bit of the brown off of that I still wanted that to um, show through but I wanted this to have like a really cool French country farmhouse look something that's been aged the next thing I wanted to do was take this little cone foam and make a topiary to go on top of my little um, rustic aged tin so I'm taking this piece of foam and I'm hot gluing this Dollar Tree um, moss to the outside of it. Be patient with this. It does get a little bit messy. Um, you're going to want to have something underneath this craft, but just continue to add layers of hot glue and then more moss. And I did use an entire bag of moss for this project, but it comes out really cool. So once I had that finished, I'm going to use a wooden dowel again from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to pop a wooden dowel into the base of my little topiary. So you're going to push that into the the base of your topiary and you also want to add some foam into your little wooden tin so I'm popping some foam into my tin and then that's going to give somewhere for me to push my little topiary into now Dollar Tree carries these really cool um, they're just kind of like greenery and I took two of these greenery garlands and I attached them end to end and that made one longer garland and then I attached the bottom part of the garland into my foam and then begin to wind it around um, my little uh, floral topiary piece and I am just so in love with this so it is a little bit of work with the painting technique but for only a couple of dollars you guys are going to have a fabulous topiary and these are so 
fun to use in your spring and summer decor. And you could even through the holidays, pop in some fall leaves and some little Christmas baubles if you wanted to. I'm gonna take the remaining foam, or the remaining moss, excuse me, and I'm going to layer the rest of the moss on top of my tin. And I did use um, some hot glue, and then I had one leaf pop off, so I thought I would pop that under there. Now I made a quick little bow and added a dazzling jewel to the center of it. This was just my way of dressing it up. That is totally optional, but you guys know I love my bows and my bling. Oh, and I get all of my craft bling from totallydazzle.com. It's Natalie and she's a small business, which I love supporting small businesses. So I'm going to leave a link in my description box of this video. So you guys can go to her site and check out some of her bling. It's like $1.50 a piece for some really pretty bling. So I hope you all are loving this fun and fabulous little DIY. Now for the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this large Dollar Tree gift box and I'm going to chalk paint the top of it white. I want to create a French farmhouse, um, a really cute, just little decorative box that I can use in my kitchen. And so I'm going to chalk paint the entire thing white on the top. And it did take two coats of chalk paint for this to be covered. And I will tell you, I really think this box is really super cute. Like I could see myself using it in my bathroom as decor or even my little um, beauty space. But for this particular DIY, I do want to do a French farmhouse um, look on this. And so that's why I'm going to go ahead and chalk paint it white. So once I had it chalk painted all the way white, I let it dry probably about 30 minutes in between coats. And then I gave it one more coat of chalk paint. And then I went to graphicsfairy.com and I did print out a really cute little um, graphic to go on the top of this, which I'm going to share you with you in just a minute. But now I'm going to take some of that Dollar Tree contact paper and my idea is to line the edge of the box with the contact paper. And that way I'll have a really cool kind of like, I think this is like really French farmhouse chic contact paper. It's so pretty with the black and white and it'll just give it a little bit of a different look rather than painting the entire thing white. And you could go even a step further and add contact paper to the inside of it or the bottom, but I really didn't feel like that was necessary. And I do struggle with contact paper just a little bit, so I felt like this was sufficient um, enough. So again, I'm just tracing the edges of my box and then getting the right size contact paper and then adding that contact paper to the edges of my little box. And that was also giving the top part of my box plenty of time to dry in between paint coats. And you're not gonna see the top lip, you can tell up here. So it's just fine to go ahead and pop that in here. You guys can make some really fun boxes like these, especially if you have room at the top of your kitchen cupboard and you just wanted something fun and decorative. Now the next step is to add a layer of Mod Podge. This was the Mod Podge that I used in that rustic cinnamon technique. So it did have a little bit of brown to it, but that was fine because I'm actually going to add another layer on top of that. And this little graphic was from graphicsfairy.com. It's free. You guys can go to their website and type in French country and you'll find all different kinds of French country um, graphics and ideas. And I will, um, try to post these on my blog as well and that way you guys can just go right there and you can click on it and download it that way um, but now I'm just using some little Dollar Tree embellishment with this pretty little ribbon and I'm going to add that to the top and the bottom of this and that's just going to kind of jazz things up a little bit I love kind of to embellish things and make them look just even a little bit more fabulous in my opinion. Now I'm taking these cute little burlap rosettes and I'm just going to hot glue them to the corner. I've shared with you guys before how to make burlap rosettes, but you just take the burlap, wind it around and make a cute little rosette. These actually came from a burlap site, burlapfabric.com, I believe. And then of course I had to add a little jewel to the center of that and voila, I have a fabulous little double tree box that looks like something you know that I bought at a boutique or a high-end decor store and we made it for next to nothing especially if you guys have some of these little baubles and goodies already in your craft stash. For the next 
Dollar Tree DIY. I want to take these super adorable cow prints that I found at Dollar Tree. I shared this with you guys in my last Dollar Tree haul, and I'm going to take some of this kind of Mackenzie Child inspired um, scrapbook paper, and you just grab this at Hobby Lobby. I believe it's a quarter, and I'm going to trace the little cow head out to make it the exact same size as the cow head picture, which was, I believe, an 8 by 10 frame. The next thing I wanted to do was just cut out the little um, background that was originally in this little cow picture. And actually the background is really cute. If you love um, decorating with aquas, this would be absolutely perfect and really adorable to use in your space. But I wanted to give it a little bit of kind of like a French country flair or Mackenzie Child's flair. And so I just thought that this paper would kind of jazz things up. The other thing you all can do is customize that paper to whatever decor that you're decorating with. So this is just a fun idea for you guys to take and make your own. The next thing I wanna do is just use some scotch tape and scotch tape my little cow head to the paper. And I'm going to repeat the exact same process on my other cow head because I wanted it to look similar. Um, and I think these are gonna be really cute in my kitchen. I can't wait to share with you guys how I display these. Um, I wanna do like a really cute kind of French country farmhouse kitchen decor for summer. Right now I have all of my Easter up, but in upcoming videos, you guys will want to look forward to some of that. Now the next thing I want to do is take some of my homemade chalk paint, which I shared with you guys how to make earlier in this video, and I'm just going to chalk paint the edge of the frame. And this is a Dollar Tree frame, so you guys be careful with them when you remove things from them and when you're working with them. They can easily fall apart at the little seam in the corners. That's just a little side note. I've had it happen a million times to me. so. In case that happens, you could always use some hot glue or E6000 to try to put it back together, but just be careful when you're painting them um, that you don't apply too much pressure. The next thing I wanted to do after I chalk painted both of my frames was make them look a little bit rustic. So each one of these frames had a totally different look to them. So I just wanted them to be cohesive. The frames weren't terrible, but I did just want them to match and kind of look like a little bit more aged. So I'm going in with some gold paint as well as some brown paint, and I'm just kind of rubbing it on the edge of the frame. And really you guys can use any little stain or wax or whatever you have on hand to really kind of make it look a little bit aged. And then the next thing I'm gonna do is just wipe some of the paint off and that's also going to kind of distress it because this paint does have a little, or the, the tissue, I'm just using a paper towel, had a little bit of water on it. And that's kind of a fun way that you guys can distress chalk paint is by using a rag that's just gently wet or also a paper towel. Now, if you don't like these colors or you don't like the way that it's looking, go back in with more of whatever color that you care for the most. So I did go back over these again with a layer of white and then a layer of gold. So you just kind of want to keep layering on paint to give it that kind of antiqued look. So golds and browns, you can even add blacks, whites, creams. Those are kind of going to give it that French country farmhouse flair. And you all can do this really, they look really good when you're using like an antique or vintage style frame. And I'm going to share with that with you guys um, in this video, how to do one that has like a lot of detail because this layering of paint really shows through with a really nice scrolly design. And once I had layered in multiple layers of paints and I was satisfied with the finished effect, here is how my adorable cow pictures turned out. I think they're so fun and French country chic, and I really feel like they look a little bit more jazzed up with that kind of really neat paper behind it, especially if you guys are crushing on Mackenzie Childs, kind of like I am, you're gonna notice that their stuff is really expensive. And so I thought this was a fun way to give that kind of look, a French country or French farmhouse or Mackenzie Childs without breaking the bank. So for the next DIY, why I'm actually going to use a frame that I found at Walmart. Walmart has a section where they have any frame for four dollars and so I chose this kind of really nice scrolly frame and for this one I'm going to use 
um, some chalk paint. This was actually a DIY that I did last year, but I wanted to share with you guys kind of how this frame looked originally and then share with you guys what we're going to do with it this year. So part of this DIY is from last year and then part of it is from this year because I do like to repurpose and reuse my DIYs as I move through the seasons, especially when it comes to frames. And so the white chalk painted frame looks super adorable, but I did want to just do something different. And so once I had it all the way chalk painted for this original one, I just let it dry. And then I did distress it gently with a bit of sandpaper. You guys can always use also a bit of um, antique wax, which the Waverly antique wax is also sold at Walmart. And I do love using that as well. So get on there, have some fun with it, use whatever colors you love. Now imagine this frame in a turquoise or a pink or whatever vintage style color that you love. Go for it, have fun with it, and get creative. I lose my breath whenever I see you. You stole my heart, what is it that you do? Now, what I wanted to do with this frame was give it a little bit kind of of a gilded effect. So this would be like a French country um, kind of gilding effect with this beautiful gold paint. So again, this gold paint is um, from Arteza Paints and I did buy this off of Amazon. They have really, really beautiful, realistically looking or realistic looking gold paint. And so I'm adding in the gold paint and then I'm layering a layer of brown paint underneath it because I want this to look um, fancy and kind of gilded and a little bit ornate, but not completely new. I don't want it to look, I want it to have a French country look, which French country has a really aged look. And so the next thing I want to do is pop in this cute little rooster. Oh my goodness, this was so cute. And again, I found this off of graphicsfairy.com. They have a ton of free printables. Type in French country and have fun printing out little uh, printables. This is just on regular computer paper. I pop my little fancy rooster in and there you have it. A fun, fabulous decor piece for very little money on a budget and it looks like something you would find at a boutique. It could go easily into your kitchen decor, dining room, or even popped into just any little space that you kind of wanted to add that little French country flair to. You said my world on fire. For the next Dollar Tree DIY, I'm going to take this Dollar Tree kitchen measurement sign, which is absolutely adorable as is, but I want to give it like a vintage kind of aged look. So I'm going to start out and I'm actually using this um, old makeup brush. That's one of my favorite things to use sometimes in my paint toolbox is old makeup brushes. They're, they have really soft bristles and they're just really nice to paint with. So. I'm using my homemade chalk paint and I'm just going to chalk paint the top of my kitchen measurement sign and I'm going to kind of run a ring around the edges and the bottom. Again, I think it's absolutely adorable as is. There's really no need to DIY this, but I decided to give it a French country farmhouse look and I just wanted to jazz it up um, and make it look aged. So. It looks kind of new and fun, but I want this to look really cool and aged, like something that we picked up at a flea market that was old and chippy and vintage. So I'm going to lay down this first layer of chalk paint, and then I laid down another layer of chalk paint, and now we're going to go in and give it an aged look, and I'm going to start out with some brown paint. This is just regular brown paint. I believe it's Arteza paint, but you guys can use any brown paint that you can get your hands on that is gonna have that kind of almost rust, rustic look or rusty color. And then again, really you guys can age it however you please with that, which whatever colors that you love. You could lay down a chalk painted layer of gray and that would show through a little bit more gray rather than the white. So again, I'm just layering in this brown paint and that's kind of the key to really make things look aged is layers and layers of paint. But we're gonna use that really cool technique that I showed you guys earlier in this video with cinnamon. And I think this is such a fun way to make something look really cool and rustic and old. 
I had a flea market booth years ago and I always love to make my things look kind of cool and vintage and old. So if you're into that really neat kind of French farmhouse look or um, French country or just old, like vintage chic flea market style, I know all of that is so in right now, you might want to give this a try. So after I have my layers of brown paint, I'm going to add a layer of Mod Podge on top of the paint. You do want the paint to dry just a little bit, but it didn't, it, mine wasn't completely dry and I felt like it worked just fine. So I added a layer of Mod Podge around where I had painted. And then the next thing I wanna do is whip out my cinnamon. Okay, so you're gonna grab some cinnamon. This is just cinnamon from your kitchen. I grabbed the cinnamon from Dollar Tree, I believe. And I'm just going to add a layer of cinnamon on top of it. And the cinnamon is gonna give it that really neat rustic effect. And I just think that it's so cool and rustic and really, really neat. So um, I'm gonna layer now another layer of Mod Podge on top of the cinnamon and that's going to seal it in and keep that cinnamon on there. And again, it's just gonna make it look kind of really neat and vintage. And again, a shout out to Our Green Acres. Um, she is the one that showed this really cool vintage effect. And so I just wanted to give her props for inspiring me to give it a go. Now I'm going to take this Dollar Tree. It's just a pretty kind of embellishment ribbon. And I found this in the regular crafting section. It wasn't in the spring section. So keep an eye out for some really neat ribbons and doodly dads that Dollar Tree is showing. The other thing I thought would be fun was to make like a cute little beaded decor piece. And I did buy these beads off of Amazon. They come in a giant pack and they're about $13. I'll link some in my Amazon store. But I'm just taking this little Dollar Tree twine. I think it's Baker's twine maybe is what it's called. And I took a piece of scotch tape and twisted the scotch tape onto the end of it. And that way my my um, string could poke through my beads. You could always, you know, thread a needle and thread or something like that, or try to thread like with a larger needle with this, but I didn't have any large hook needles. And so this worked just fine. Now I'm gonna tie it off at the top and I wanna make like a cute little, like little wooden bead piece to kind of cascade down my kitchen measurement sign just to jazz things up. This is totally optional, but I'm next going to take a Dollar Tree tag and these pretty little stickers that my friend Stacy sent me. Thank you, Stacy, for all of the goodies. You're so thoughtful and I'm always so appreciative of the things that you send to me. I use one of these cute little Dollar Tree stickers and I'm popping that on to my little tag just to give it kind of like this spring fun vibe. It was like a little potted plant and these stickers were so cute. Dollar Tree really kills it with their stickers too. You guys will have to check out their Crafters Square and their sticker section. Um, and then I decided to make it match my little kitchen measurement sign so i'm just using some of that pretty little trim and again this is all optional but i love kind of going for it with the details and that's really going to what's going to make things look kind of very boutique-ish is adding in those little thoughtful details that you might not see in something that's you know store-bought which store-bought things are wonderful and nice as well but i do love to craft and make the majority of my home decor um, anyway, it's what I love to do. Crafting is good for me and it makes my house look cute in my opinion. Um, so the next thing I wanted to do was just add in a little, um, string to the top so I could tie it on there. I did hot glue the top of my bead after I tied it off just to make sure that it was really going to stick on there really well. I'm taking some of this Baker's twine and I just looped the ribbon up several times and then I tied a bow, just like a shoelace bow. And then I'm gonna add that to my little kitchen measurement sign. I do love to add bows to a lot of things. And I thought about adding a big bow to this, but it was such a small sign and I really wanted it to look like rustic farmhouse French chic. And so I thought this would be just perfect. So I'm just gonna hot glue that up here to the edge and then add a little string onto the end of my tag. And then that way my little tag can kind of hang off my sign. My life 
was gray till you added colors. Like the moon is the snow, we don't care about the And other. here is how it turned out. Popped into my little French farmhouse kind of country chic display. This is so stinking cute and I'm really excited to add this into some of my transitional summer decor coming up but again the black and white you guys will be able to go with really anything and so this is going to be really fun to decorate with I'm super excited about this I'm kind of bringing back a little bit of this shabby chic vibe as well so for the next Dollar Tree DIY I'm going to take this leftover vase that I had left over from my Valentine's Day decor and I'm just going to chalk paint it white with my homemade chalk paint and again to make homemade chalk paint for me, I just take a cup of latex paint, I put that into a container, and then I add half a cup of baking soda. And then you wanna mix it really well, and that will give you homemade chalk paint. Now, the homemade chalk paint, in my opinion, is pretty grainy, um, so it's really mainly great for crafting projects, but it does the trick in a pinch, and I was out of chalk paint, for this DIY session, I had like a little tiny bit left in the bottom of my container, but it wasn't enough to do like a lot of French country um, farmhouse chic decor pieces. And I knew I really wanted to go to town with this. Now also think about this. You guys can always take any of my DIYs that you see and you can customize them with your colors of paint that you're decorating with. Maybe your kitchen is red or turquoise or yellow or whatever colors you love, you guys use those colors. I do love this kind of French farmhouse, shabby chic look, and so that's what I use in my decor. The next thing I wanted to do is take these cute little roses, and these were from a garage sale up, up the road. A really sweet neighbor had these, gave me a great deal on a bunch of them. I believe originally they were from Hobby Lobby. I saw a tag on the back of them. Um, that look like a Hobby Lobby tag. So I just popped those into my little white vase and that gave my display here a little bit of romance. I love to add romance into so many different displays. And so I hope you guys are enjoying this and I'm really excited to share another DIY video with you guys this week. So look for that and look for a new giveaway along with that and thank you guys always for following along with me for joining me for coffee and crafting your love and support truly means the world it means so much that there are so many of you all that love to craft and decorate and that are inspired i've seen some of you all posting in my group page that this crafting is bringing you and your family together to craft and that means so much so Keep up the good work crafting and decorating. I feel like it is so good for your heart and soul to craft and decorate and make something amazing for your home. And it also helps like with your nerves and just so many wonderful things. So as always, comment and let me know what was your favorite DIY in this video and which one will you be recreating in your colors and your style? I love to see what you guys have in store. So thank you all so much for joining me on another fun and fabulous crafty decor adventure. It is a true blessing and honor to have you all here. I hope you're totally inspired to craft up something fabulous on a budget for your home. Now, if you all are new, welcome. I'm Olivia with Olivia's Romantic Home and I love to share with you all how you can make your homes booty gorgeous on a budget. Don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel and punch that bell. It will update you every time I post a new video. I post tons of videos with DIY projects, Dollar Tree and thrift store makeovers, as well as some tidying, baking, and um, just general homemaking along the way. I also have all these romantic home Facebook page. I love seeing what everybody's up to. I have a little group page that's totally free. You guys can post photos of your home decor and DIY projects over there. I also have all of these romantic home Instagram page. Follow me over there. I share a good morning cup of coffee with you every morning as well as a fun and fabulous little prayer card and I get those from Dollar Tree. So thank you guys again for being here. I love y'all to the minute back. I can't wait for our next video and until then remember be kind to yourselves and be kind to one another and we'll talk to you very soon bye-bye and i've come out here to say